Thank you, Governor, and good afternoon. Over the past several days, with Co-Chair Secretary Keneally and Commissioner Monica Burrell, we've covered a lot of ground and been supported by dozens and dozens of individuals and businesses to help us think about our future. The Advisory Board has spent hours talking to people across different sectors and industries, as you've heard the Governor list, about their ideas and strategies as we progress toward the new normal. We still have a lot of work ahead, but I am heartened by the creativity and the grit of our residents who are contributing to this next chapter. COVID-19 has placed an incredible burden on our economy, created uncertainty and losses for every region of our Commonwealth. But together, we are developing the framework and phases that the Governor described to put us back on track as quickly and as safely as possible. This is a true team effort, and I'm proud of the body of work we, along with the incredible members of our advisory board, have put together and have started to put together. I'd like to get into more detail on the mandatory workplace safety standards that the governor mentioned. Part of moving forward and making workplaces safer will include three levels of guidance for every sector, every industry, and every business. The first is overall social guidance about how people should conduct themselves that are already in place. This includes policies we have already implemented, such as limiting the size of social gatherings, requiring individuals to wear face coverings in public, and instructing those entering the state to quarantine for 14 days. The second includes these mandatory workplace safety standards that all businesses must adopt upon reopening. The third will be industry-specific protocols that we release and that we will release and have more details on in the coming days. In phase one of our reopening, all workplaces in the Commonwealth that are allowed to operate will be required to implement these mandatory workplace safety standards. The standards were developed by the Reopening Advisory Board, working together with the Department of Public Health and the COVID Command Center. They are designed to be straightforward and to reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmission as employees and customers begin to return to workplaces. These are the basics that every industry can plan for, for regarding social distancing, hygiene, staffing and operations, and cleaning and disinfecting. For social distancing, all persons, including employees, customers, and vendors, should remain at least six feet apart to the greatest extent possible, both inside and outside workplaces. Establish protocols to ensure that employees can practice adequate social distancing. Provide signage for social distancing and require face coverings or masks for all employees. For hygiene, provide hand washing capabilities throughout the workplace. Ensure frequent hand washing by employees and adequate supplies to do so. Provide regular sanitization of high touch areas such as workstations, equipment, screens, doorknobs, restrooms throughout the work site. For staffing and operations, provide training for employees regarding the social distancing and hygiene protocols. Employees who are displaying COVID-19-like symptoms do not report to work. And establish a plan for employees getting ill from COVID-19 at work and a return to work plan. For cleaning and disinfecting, establish and maintain cleaning protocols specific to the business when an active employee is diagnosed with COVID-19, cleaning and disinfecting must be performed. And disinfection of all common services, surfaces must take place at intervals appropriate to the workplace. As we move towards a new normal, we all have a lot of work to do. And we are thankful to everyone that has done their part and has played a role in this fight against COVID-19. And I am confident that when we reopen, we will do so in a safe manner for all the people of this Commonwealth. Thank you.